this time something different. We're going back to the math lessons. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tomasz and in today's video I'm going to show you five methods of how to create factorial function in VBA. In short, factorial function says to multiply all whole numbers from chosen number all down to uh, number one. So for example, if you want to calculate the factorial of five, you will have something like factorial five equals five multiplied by four, multiplied by three, multiplied by two, multiplied by one, what equals to 120. The factorial function is really good example for the interview. Why? First of all, it is not that hard, but also not that easy. Secondly, this is mathematical function and good math skills are very useful in programming. Thirdly, there is no the only solution. There are several approaches which can show the experience of the person. In this video, I want to put a pressure on the third point and go through all the methods to achieve the factorial function, from the easiest one to the most complex. The first method, for loop factorial. This is the easiest one. You need to create a for loop and loop there from the uh, number one to the specified number, or at least this is my approach. And yeah, this is this is the easiest one. So so the easiest approach to the factorial function. The second method, factorial function using do until. This time, less commonly used form of the loop than the previous one for loop, uh, at least for me. Um, here function loops, uh, I mean multiplies, uh, until the, the i iterator is bigger than the value. So the value which is the specified uh, number. So um, it is also not that hard approach, but I think, at least for me, it is um, harder than the simple for loop. The third method, do while factorial function. When I'm using do loop, I always prefer until than while. So that's why I'm putting this on the third on my list, the third place on my list. This time function loops multiplies uh, as long as, and this is the while statement, and the iterator, the i variable, is smaller or equal to the specified value val, which is the, our chosen number. As the fourth method, I want to show you my attempt to use recursion in case of this issue. In my approach, the function calls itself as long as specified value, a, is bigger than one. My first attempt was not so good because I needed to use optional value to, to start. So that temp val, and which I stated as a, um, as a long variable with the uh, one value. So after my first attempt to use recursion in the factorial function, I did some research and I created the second approach of recursion. So this time without any optional value, I achieved something like this, what you can see on the screen. So as short as it's possible, and we got only two conditionals. In my opinion, this is the most complex approach of factorial function. The recursion uh, topic is really complex. So every time you use recursion, it is really, really 
uh, complex stuff. So don't you worry that you would not be able to create such thing at the at the first place. It's it you you need some time to to get used to it to figure out how to do this. But if you are able at right now, yeah, it's good for you. I hope from now you are able to create the factorial function on your own, not only using the easiest method or only one method, but all of them. And not only to impress the recruiter on the interview, but to be able to use such, um, such methods and approaches used in these examples of the factorial function in other cases, in other projects, in other VBA projects of your own. So if you like this video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate that. I invite you to my website, simplexlvba.com, to my Pinterest profile with all the memes from my articles, to my Facebook profile. And if you want to show your support to my channel, please buy me a coffee. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And... See you guys in the next video.